It's been one week since the tragic accident that took the life of a pedestrian here at the Grand Glaze Bridge. And now some Lake Area residents are asking what can be done to prevent this from happening again. 30-year-old Zachariah Breeden of Rocky Mount was getting into a car that had pulled over onto the bridge's narrow shoulder when another vehicle struck them from behind. Zachariah was pronounced dead at the scene. Osage Beach Mayor Michael Harmison says his office is already working on a solution to the issue. We've recently received a grant uh, along with branches of the lake for a million dollar grant. It's an 80-20 grant where we have to come up with the 20 percent. But it's for this, it's for safety. And so we're going to incorporate the bridge, um, whether it's a freestanding or connect to Grand Glades Bridge uh, within that grant. It's not illegal to walk across that bridge. And there's no signage that be cautious. Now, in the, in the immediate future, that's probably a good idea to put a sign up says, you know, proceed with caution or something to, to avoid people from going one side to the other. But if somebody doesn't have a car, um, and they need to get from point A to point B. It's, it's not illegal to walk across that thing. Mayor Harmiston also says discussions with MoDOT have revealed engineering difficulties with attaching a pedestrian bridge to the existing roadway, but that he is hopeful a solution is in the city's future. Reporting live from Osage Beach, I'm Matt Markovy, KRMS News.